today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles DC Comics Designer Series Greg Capullo number 7, Mr. Freeze. Though it really being a designer series from Greg Capullo, the designs have changed, although Mr. Freeze still has a pretty consistent look to him. He comes included with his freeze gun as well as, of course, his dome, and I'll show you guys that when we get this out of packaging. The display, I really should say display packaging because that's essentially what it is consistent with the other designer series figures and a great way to display the figure if you don't want to take him out of his packaging. Of course, I will remove him out of packaging to have uh, to show you guys what he looks like, but I love that this open window concept is a great way again to show the piece without having to take him out of of packaging. For those, you know, completionists that want to keep everything sealed, still a great way to enjoy the figure. On the side of the package, some a sketched image of uh, Mr. Freeze. DC Comics Designer Series, Greg Capullo, Mr. Freeze, and then on the back, the other figures available, there's Red Hood, Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, and Thrasher Suit, Batman. Spot's going to take a break, I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at DC Comics Designer Series, Greg Capullo, number 7, Mr. Freeze. There's more anyway, guys, don't go anywhere, stay tuned. With Mr. Freeze, again, you're going to get a character that looks very similar to Mr. Freeze's that we've seen in the past. However, Greg Capullo has done something a little bit different with the figure, and the end result is astonishing. I think I really like the design of this figure. It, for me, if we, again, start having a look at his face, and we'll kind of work our way down. The face, for me, looks like something maybe as a character you would have seen in a Mad Max movie. Very lanky in design, almost kind of a mohawk going on there and he's got his goggles on again traits that you would all expect to find with mr freeze just slightly tweaked and i love it there are other designs of characters i'm not crazy about where i feel like they change the character just a little too much but freeze here is an updated take but an updated take i can still really get behind he's lanky in in build very slender of a figure in fact so slender let's move the arms out of the way that he's ripped, although he's still very, very skinny. He's got the hoses coming from the front area harness that he's wearing, and it carries all the way over to the back to go to his tank here, which again probably supplies him with the cold to keep him going. The coloring that they went with his skin is awesome. It's not quite a white, it's not quite a blue. In fact, it looks like they've taken a white plastic and they've washed it with a darker blue. Um, so like the blue, for example, has gotten in almost like a panel lining. They've gone into the crevices of his arms and musculature, but then it still has remained rather light in color. It's almost the color that you would expect to find something that has been chilled. Uh, it does have the coloring of it, but it's not that ridiculous over-the-top blue. In fact, when you start looking at his hands and his arms, it's not the same consistent blue all the way around. Some areas, such as his face, have a little more darker areas of the blue. Areas such as his arms might have lighter areas. It's almost like a splotchy color. And then again, the end result is nice. Very well appreciated. The rest of his suit... It almost looks like he's wearing a body suit, like a body meshed, uh, uh, body mesh kind of style suit, and then he's got metallic knee pads, almost like knee guards, and also he's got uh, boot caps over top of his shoes. It's medieval. It, it's kind of like an amalgamation of like a steampunk medieval style of Mr. Freeze. Again, loving it. These really don't serve any purpose. These little side gauntlet little areas that he's got wrapped on his biceps but still it's a it's a touch I really like of course he's Mr. Freeze he would have to require having a dome you know he's not yet figured out a way to do that so we can give give him his dome he's got a little plastic dome here it's translucent in color you can easily see right through it and you have to get it fitted over the you have to get it fitted over this area kind of behind it and then fit it in place like that it limits posability, of course, to his head because, yeah, you guessed it, you can't get to the head, so you have to rotate the head before putting the dome down. Boy, do I ever love this figure, though. It's just, it's hard to put into words how much I really appreciate this design and how, first of all, Greg Hopula did a fantastic job on the, on the design. 
DC Collectibles did a fan jo fantastic job of interpreting, interpreting the design and carrying it over to figure form. Lastly, of course, the one other accessory Mr. Freeze would have to include, and that is his freeze gun. Have you ever seen a freeze gun look like this? I haven't. In fact, when you look at freeze guns by Mr. Freeze, you'd almost expect it to look like this. And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but uh, it's, it's pretty neat, though. It's pretty neat. We can take it and put it in his hand. I feel like that is the right way. Maybe it does actually go the other way. I don't know. Maybe it does go this way. I'm looking at the trigger point. Let's just remove the gun. I'm looking at the trigger point at which the gun would be held at, and its grip is at the front. So maybe actually, in fact, the freeze gun does go this way. I was going to say, it looks like the freeze gun would go the opposite way, like it would go like this. And that is more steampunk. It looks like something that would go across his you know, across his arm, but uh, having not read the comic that features this design of Mr. Freeze, I'm going to ballpark it that the grip, because the grip is facing frontward, that I feel like the gun is going to go this way. And if it isn't, certainly let me know down below. Very different, very different. It almost has almost like a like an ice pick on the end that he could freeze something and then, you know, hack away at it with this this kind of jagged blade on the end. There's a lot of different options for displaying this guy. I love also, let me just touch base on this too. I love the, the gripped hand that he has. He doesn't come with any other hands, nothing else that you can swap it out to. But that open hand really just again, gives it that cold kind of controlling presence of Mr. Freeze. Very, very nice. When it comes to his articulation, let's just remove the hand, the weapon again it's a little gets a little stuck around the fingers take that off for your articulation let's go through this together of course to get to his head you'll have to remove the domed helmet his head is on a ball joint hinges up hinges uh goes back and forth arms hinge out uh, they rotate all the way around swivel point at the bicep he has a bend in the elbow hinge also in the hand which also rotates his waist swivels, and he does have what appears to be an upper torso crunch, but it doesn't look like he can bend it very much, because it seems like this is really restricted. Could just be really that it's tight. I just can't really move it right now. Legs hinge forward and back and out. He has a swivel point at the top of the thigh. He has a double bend at the knee. A little bit stiff going on there as well. And finally, a hinge foot. This is probably by far my favorite Mr. Freeze figure to date. Uh, I don't have a substantial collection of Mr. Freeze figures, but uh, the ones that I have, I don't know, something about Mr. Freeze I've always really, really liked. From the original Bruce Timm animated series, Mr. Freeze. Even got to say I liked Mr. Freeze from uh, the old Adam West Batman uh, series as well. But this Mr. Freeze, there's just something about it that I dig a lot. It has part, part steampunk to it. It has part Mad Max to it. There's just a design aesthetics to it that I do like a lot. Today's Toy Spot. There we go. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the DC Collectibles designer series, Greg Capullo. We're having a look today at Mr. Freeze. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.